This is the first time ever that we've had a very sophisticated golf cart-like spacecraft, which is basically put into a cocoon, jammed inside the aeroshell when it goes through the Martian atmosphere, and it has to basically, like a butterfly, go through its metamorphosis before it can do the job for which it was designed. Normally when you go off and, and try and design a spacecraft, you try and avoid things like deployments, you know, avoid deployments, avoid motors and actuators, avoid too many pyro devices. You know, uh, We have all of those things that you would normally just try and avoid in the design of your spacecraft because we have to. It has to be folded up in a kind of a robotic origami. The wheels in front have to be folded in on themselves. The back wheels have to be pulled in. The solar arrays have to be nested up. The high gain antenna and the pan cam mass that you see on here all has to be kind of nested into a very, very compact shape. It is definitely 20 pounds of stuff in a five pound bag. There's a lot that has to happen in the impact to egress phase. In the first day, we fire almost 50 pyros and get the spacecraft reconfiguring. There's the airbag retraction, there's the lander pedal deployment, there's the solar ray deployment, there's reconfiguring the power bus, there's getting us into a configuration where the rover is ready to receive commands from Earth. And then at that point, we're in a state where we're collecting data, taking images, and transmitting it to Earth. That's the first day. There's a combined 36 to 40 actuators that have to do their job. There's uh, tens of pyrotechnic devices that have to do their job and every one of those things has to be verified in sequence in order for us to feel comfortable with driving the vehicle off onto the surface. If the airbags don't retract we could potentially catch the lander when we try to deploy it. If the lander pedals don't open the rover itself is trapped inside the lander and can't deploy its solar panels. If the solar panels don't deploy we don't have any power to charge our batteries which is our only source of power on the surface. So if any one of these doesn't happen, it's a bad day on Mars.